Hi Capricorn, it's Maria from the Tarot Shop here and this is your tarot reading for the month of November. If this is your first time here then I've basically got a deck of oracle cards here, I will select one card there for you and also six tarot cards. This is the wiser deck if you're interested in the decks that I'm using and this is the a brand new deck called the Moonology Messages Oracle from Yasmin Boland. It's such a lovely deck and it's really working very well with me. So I'm taking one from there and six from here. Um, as I always say, whenever you call in for one of these readings is that actually, if it doesn't resonate with you, then please also check out your moon and or your rising signs. And unfortunately, I must apologise beforehand if you can hear it. I have the remnants of an irritating cough and cold. So if I suddenly have to take a sip, please excuse me. I wanted to get these readings to you and I'm absolutely perfectly capable apart from this silly cough. So um, Capricorn, there we go, straight away. That jumped out at you. Change your tune. So you're about to have a decision. You're going to change your mind about something. Or well, the cards would like you to. Let's put it that way. That's Capricorn. For the month of November. Six cards, please. Capricorn for the month of November. <clears throat> One, two, four, five, six. Okay, so the messages from the tarot this month are you begin the month feeling quite pleased with yourself. You've done something. You've done something like a job well done. You've achieved something. But it has meant that you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders. I mean, I can't really mince my words here and I don't tend to. That's not my style. But you've achieved something, but it meant that you've, you've taken on more. You've almost given yourself too much to carry. Hmm. OK, and then we'll see where this comes into it in a minute. And it's causing a bit of confusion, but also celebration because you've realised that... Um, it needs to happen, whatever it was it needed to happen, even though it's meant that you've got more to do. And it's a little bit disorientating. You know, when we have a change in our life, it's quite disorientating. And there's definitely something that's happened here. There's a change that's occurred. And also financially, it means that you are now in a situation where you're having to balance your finances a little bit better. So whilst, sorry, excuse me, whilst it's confusing, it's you're also pleased with yourself so you're pleased with yourself, but it's confusing and it means you've got more to do. And also you you don't have as much money to go around. So I don't know quite what it is that you've done here, but um, or what change it is that you've made. Excuse me, I'm just going to have to take a drink. Sorry. <coughs> it doesn't, it's not quite what you've, um, you're pleased with. It's all on a smaller scale, but it's basically, you know, you have, sorry, decided to, Make, you've, you've got this thing, whatever this thing that you've achieved, it means you've got more to do or you, you've got more responsibilities, which is confusing in itself because you thought it would be celebration. And then you do remind yourself, I do need to, you know, it's, uh, what do you call this, like a milestone? It feels as if it's a milestone, even though it's meant that you've had to find the balance a little bit. You've got, haven't got as much money now because of what's happened or what you've, what change you've made. And actually you've got the Knight of Wands, which is actually... Once you've taken this step, which you have, you go through this initial period of readjustment is probably the word I'm looking for. This adjustment period is happening this month. And then you take off in a different direction. So, I, I mean, the change your tune is very much along the lines of you probably need to go with the flow a bit this month, to be honest, because it may be that you are set, which is where this confusion is. You may decide to take it in a different direction. It's indecision. It's real indecision. I'd like to give you some advice, though, if I can give the cards to give you advice. I'm going to take, oh, it's with regards to a relationship. Okay, so um, I don't normally do this. Okay, so you're going to go in the direction. I want you to listen to your heart because actually you may think you know what you want. It's going to cost you money. Why would it cost you money unless you've moved in together or there's some financial joint thing going on here um and it's to do with the coming together of two people for happiness so 
I think you think that it can't be achieved and actually you have a complete change of heart. Very confusing, isn't it? But you, this is your ultimate game is that you're actually, yeah, I think he might do something in the middle of the month that confuses the heck out of you and actually you might decide that it's not who you thought it was. It's almost like you've got the choice of two people here and one will lead you to happiness. So, or the choice of, there's a choice here. And the choice will ultimately lead you towards happiness. Okay, so I hope that wasn't too confusing. But from the cards perspective, they're saying that this is all as it should be. So if you think, well, I thought I'd got here, but actually what's going on now is I seem to have got more to do. And I'm really confused about it all. But I'm also celebrating the milestone, even though I've got more, more commitment financially. And I'm just going to go off and do my own thing now. I'm going to go off and do it. And then straight away, you've got this union and happiness. So... I hope that makes sense to you and um, thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.